Here we are, finally beginning the Hobbit trilogy. This has been requested so many times since I began Lord of the Rings, even before Lord of the Rings, actually. And all I really know is that the Hobbit trilogy occurs before Lord of the Rings, this is what I'm guessing, and I know it follows Bilbo Baggins. I've heard a lot of conflicting opinions about the Hobbit trilogy, so I don't know what I'm gonna think. I know I'm gonna like it because I need more of that universe, but I'm nervous. Ugh, I don't know, a lot of people have told me not to expect great things, but I don't know, I'm excited. Let's, so see how it goes. But if by the end of the video you do really like it, please do consider subscribing. It helps the channel an incredible amount and you get to follow me on the Hobbit journey. And if you want to watch, you know, the full length reaction to every movie, every show that I do, as well as have access to my full length reviews of everything that I watch, my Patreon will be down below, uh, linked in the description. Be sure to check that out. So let's get into the Hobbit, an unexpected journey. Okay, are you guys ready? Three, two, one, go. Also, I am watching the extended edition, so let's see how it goes. And I have some Oreos with me. So I do this thing with Oreos. Um, I always twist them open and make sure that there's no spider in there because I have seen that image where somebody has twisted it open and there was a smushed spider in there. So now I have this inherent fear. And please don't judge me because I'm gonna eat Oreos instead of with milk with tea. The Shire music! My dear Frodo. Old Bilbo. You asked me once if I had told you everything there was to know about my adventures. I may not have told you all of it. It is time for you to know I what was... really happened. There was the city of Dale. Pitbull? Its markets known far and wide, peaceful and prosperous. This looks so nice, very medieval. The day before the doors, of the greatest kingdom in Middle-earth, Erebor, in precious gems hewn from rock. Ever they delve deeper, down into the dark. And that is where they found it. Hmm, he's got a honker on him. The Arkenstone. Thrall named it the King's Jewel. All would pay homage to it. Even the great elven king, Thranduil. Oh, he's beautiful. I just drank a bunch of pieces of lime. No one knows exactly what began the rift. The elves say the dwarves stole their treasure. Oh no. The dwarves, they no. say the elf king refused to give them their rightful pay. Ooh. It is sad, Frodo, how old alliances can be broken. And for what? Money, power, greed. Slowly the days turn sour. Thor's love of gold. Oh wow, he is too quite fierce. wealthy. This looks like Cave of a Secrets from Aladdin. Had begun to grow within him, and where sickness thrives, bad things will follow. Because you're not in your right mind. You're only thinking about your greed. You're only thinking about what will quench that the bad thing. Heard it was a noise like a hurricane coming down from the north. Call out the guard. Do it now. What is it? Dragon. <laughs> Such wanton death is dealt that day. For this city of men was nothing to smile. His eye was set on another prize. Dragons do be very greedy as well. Oh, we got big hands. Big dragon hands. What is a dragon going to do with gold? Sit in it? That's all I know dragons do. They just want to sit in gold. They can't buy things with it. Not the forbidden egg. Or a dragon will guard his plunder. Well, then you gotta kill it. That's the face of an egg lover. Thranduil would not risk the lives of his kin against the wrath of the dragon. Kind of messed up on their part. Robbed of their homeland, the dwarves of Erebor wandered the wilderness. And not even their allies the young are helping. dwarf prince took work where he could find it. In another corner of the world, dragons were only made to leave. And young Bilbo. It was the beginning of an unlikely friendship, but it is not the start of my story. For me, it began in a hole in the ground. There lived a hobbit and all the comforts of home. Elijah Wood! Hello? Frodo, hi! He's still wandering the premises. My heart! <laughs> I too laugh when I write. It's like when he's texting his crush. <laughs> Thank you. What's this? It's not ready yet. What on earth are these? 
replies to the party invitation. They all say they're coming. What on earth are you doing? Hiding his treasure. You know, I caught her making off with a silverware once. Make sure you keep an eye on her after I'm... When you're what? It's nothing. That's not sussy at all. I'd be very suspicious you know, after him saying some that. Some people are beginning to wonder about you. They think you're becoming unsociable. Nonsense. Be a good lad and put that on the gate. <laughs> you think you'll come? He wouldn't miss a chance to let off his whiz poppers. I'm going to surprise him. How quaint and beautiful. In those days, I was always on time, and nothing unexpected ever happened. Oh, really? But you were on an unexpected journey. I like that. The writing that went to that, that was funny. Him when he was younger. He looks like Pippin. Good morning. What do you mean? Do you mean to wish me a good morning, or do you mean that it is a good morning whether I want it or not? We love you, Gandalf. Big fan. Big fan. I'm looking for someone to share in an adventure. Now, I don't imagine anyone west of Bree would have much interest in adventures. You've changed. I'm not entirely for the better, Bilbo Beckins. Oh. I'm sorry, do I know you? I'm Gandalf. Not Gandalf, the wandering wizard who made such excellent fireworks. No idea you were still in business. What is this face he's making at him? Well, that's decided. The most amusing for me. I shall inform the others. Inform the who? What? No, no. <laughs> do not want to. Any adventures here, I suggest you try over the hill or across the water. Good morning. Look at his fake feet. You can see how fake they are. All bent up and stuff. You can see that they're shoes. Unless those are his real feet and I will be... I'm so sorry. What is he doing to his door? It's such a peaceful, quaint little town. I don't know if I would love it or hate it. I need adventure. I need thrill. Yeah, it looks great. I want to eat that fish. I want to cook. I want to take that sucker home, fry him up, and eat him. Not, not the child, the fish. I, I don't suppose you've seen a wizard lurking around these parts. Can't say I have. Oh, he has the right idea of frying that bad boy up right before dinner. Very rude. Dwale, at your service. Is it down here? It is what? Down where? Supper! Oh my god, he's eating his beautiful fried fish. I'd be upset. But I also would be afraid, so I wouldn't say anything either. Help yourself. But I wasn't expecting company. Oh, he's gonna get more. Balin. Oh! Evening, brother. <laughs> There's some animosity there, I feel. <laughs> yup! <laughs> no? Have you eaten? It's not that I don't like visitors. I don't know either of you. I don't mean to be blunt, but, I, uh, but I have to speak my mind. I'm you sorry. Think? Apology accepted. Oh, now fill it up, brother. Don't stint. <laughs> There's another one of them. There's far too many dwarves in my dining room as it is. Poor taste. Oh. Gandalf. So, all the dwarves. Oh, so Bilbo's gonna help the dwarves. Fight the dragon. Cool, fuck cool. He's got an injury only between his ears. His legs work fine. What? Put, put those back. Put that back. He has so much food. Oh my gosh. He got a cheese knife. I can't imagine. He eats it by the block. I can't imagine how long it's taken him to collect all that food and now everybody's eating it. I'd be really mad. Like, very mad. You appear to be one dwarf short. He is late, is all. He traveled north to a meeting of our kin. He will come. That looks amazing, and I would love to be there for this feast. Okay, so we get to see how the dwarves party. My dear Bilbo. What on earth is the matter? They've pillaged the pantry. I'm not even going to tell you what they've done in the- I wouldn't even want to know. Gandalf, allow me to introduce the leader of our company, Sorin Ukenshil. Come here, Mr. Baggins, have you done much fighting? Well, I do have some skill at conquers. He looks more like a grocer than a burglar. Oh. I agree. I don't want to eat more. 
Mm, more lime. What news from the meeting in Eridluwin? Envoys from all seven kings. Is Dane with us? They will not come. Far to the east, I as a single solitary peak. The lonely mountain. The reign of the beast will end. What beast? Well, that would be a reference to Smaug the Terrible. Airborne fire breather. That would be difficult enough with an army behind us. Do you forget we have a wizard in our company? Gandalf will have killed hundreds of dragons in his time. It's not important. The number is not what's important. Give us a number. <laughs> Why are they freaking... What are they... What is that man even trying to punch? Air? There's nothing in front of him. The dragon Smaug has not been seen for 60 years. We seize this chance to take back Erebor. There is no way into the mountain. That is not entirely true. It was given to me by your father. It is yours now. These runes speak of a hidden passage to the lower halls. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's what I thought. It's the, the one they had to do the riddle. Yes. The task I have in mind will require a great deal of stealth and no small amount of courage. That's why we need a burglar. An expert, I'd imagine. And are you? Hobbits are remarkably light on their feet. And while the dragon is accustomed to the smell of dwarf, the scent of a hobbit is all oh, that unknown to him, which gives us a distinct advantage. There's a lot more to him than appearances suggest. Gandalf really has a way of speaking. He's a great public speaker. Very convincing. Give him no. the contract. I cannot guarantee his safety. Understood. Nor will I be responsible for his fate. Agreed. Incineration. <laughs> oh, hi, I like the flesh off your bones in the blink of an eye. <gasps> Comforting. No. <laughs> I'll be all right. Just let me sit quietly for a moment. You've been sitting quietly for far too long. I remember a young hobbit who was always running off in search of elves in the woods. A young hobbit who would have liked nothing better than to find out what was beyond the borders of the Shire. That sounds exciting. Did you know that your great-great-great-great-uncle Bullroar Took was so large? In the Battle of Green Fields, he charged the goblin ranks. He swung his club so hard, it knocked the goblin king's head clean off, and it sailed a hundred yards through the air and went down a rabbit hole. You'll have a tale or two to tell of your own when you come back. Sorry, Gandalf, I can't sign this. You've got the wrong hobbit. How, how is he going to convince him? It appears we have lost our burglar. Probably for the best. You have built a new life for us in the Blue Mountains. A life that is worth more than all the gold. From my grandfather to my father, this has come to me. They dreamt of the day when the dwarves of Erebor would reclaim their homeland. There is no choice, Arlen. Then we are with you, laddie. The writing right there, superb. Perfectly worded, perfectly done. I really enjoyed that. I should just kidnap him. I like how all the hobbits have the same outfit. The suspenders, same pants, striped shirt. He probably feels a bit sad. He knows there's more to life than just sitting at home. How does he know where to go? Maybe fold it up. It's gonna get ripped, bro. Where are you off to? I'm going on an adventure. I know it's just like that that meme where it's like when you're drunk and your friends can't find you, and then it's like you. I'm going on an adventure. Wait! I signed it. Everything appears to be in order. Welcome, Master Baggins, to the company of Thorin Oakenshield. Give him a pony. That that won't be necessary. <laughs> <laughs> He's afraid. Looks fun, I say, and then they're going on to fight a, a fire dragon. What's that about? They took wages on whether or not you'd turn up. What did you think? I never doubted you for a second. <clears throat> Having a reaction. Wait, wait, stop. I've forgotten my handkerchief. My, my blinky. Oh, no. Use this. Ew. Okay, I guess. Ewie. Home is now behind you. The world is ahead. I don't mean to make like a personal comparison, but I am throwing myself out of my comfort zone and going to live in Poland for a bit. So I feel like it kind of resonates a bit. Like what they say about going out and seeing the world really resonates with me. I'm afraid, but I'm also not fighting a dragon. I'm just a big old baby, so. What was that? Orcs, throw cutters, they strike in the wee small hours when everyone's asleep, quick and quiet, no screams. I mean, they are screaming though, so. 
You think a night raid by orcs is a joke? Don't mind him, laddie. Thorin has more cause than most to hate orcs. After the dragon took the lonely mountain, King Thror tried to reclaim the kingdom of Moria. Moria had been taken by legions of orcs, led by Azok, the Defiler. The giant had sworn to wipe out the line of Durin. He began... With his father? ...heading the king. <gasps> Thrain, Thorin's father, he went missing. We were leaderless. Dorks are savages. A young dwarf prince facing down the pale orc. His armor rent, <gasps> wielding nothing but an oaken branch. Ooh. Azog, the defiler, learned that day. He's that no the longer line a lefty. Of would not be so easily broken. That too. Dad and not being a lefty anymore. He lost an arm and needed to be carried away. He's like, ugh, I've killed so many people. Can't lose an arm. Ugh. I thought orcs were supposed to be fearless. Don't, just don't really care about what happens. They're just meant to murder. Our enemy had been defeated. And I thought to myself then, there is one I could call. He sounds like he deserves it. Even through grief, he was able to do it. I respect him a lot more knowing the story. What happened to him? He slunk back into the hole whence he came. That filth died of his wounds long ago. I don't think he did. I think he's hoping that's the case. It happened though. So who's gonna be the one to tell him? Is that a wolf? Oh. Past the orcs are always evil in every. Are we ever gonna have a movie sympathizing the orcs? I feel si like sinful just saying such, such blasphemy. Are there any? What? Are there wizards? There are five of us. The greatest of our order is Saruman. Then there are the two blue wizards. You know, I've quite forgotten their names. There's only five. And who is the fifth? Radagast. Is he a great wizard or is he more like you? He's a very great wizard. Are we, we're definitely going to meet the wizards. Foreshadowing. Fly over the vast forest lands to the east. Oh, he's an interesting oh character. Oh, babies. Sebastian. What's happening to Sebastian? I don't understand why it's not working. It's not as if it's witchcraft. Unless it is. We have witches now? Are these spiders? I can't. I literally can't. Sebastian. Oh my god. Are those spiders? I literally I can't. I can't. I can't. Okay, I'm taking my feet off the ground. Oh, Sebastian's back. Get the, I don't know. Did those foul creatures come from? Just Your fortress. Can you, um, what? How, how small is he that these rabbits are his little, little sled dogs? Oh my gosh, of course we're going to a spider kingdom. Why, why wouldn't we, right? This movie keeps getting better and better. So much. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. We could make for the hidden valley. I will not go near that place. The elves could help us. Dragon attacks Erebor. What help came from the elves? You ask me to seek out the very people who betrayed my grandfather. I did not give you that mapping key for you to hold on to the past. I did not know that they were yours to keep. Gandalf, where are you going? Seek the company of the only one around here who's got any sense. Oh. And who's that? Myself, Mr. Beckers. Oh, he got angry. Drama. Here, do us a favor. Take this to the lads. What's the matter? We're supposed to be looking out for the ponies. We had 16. Now there's 14. It's our official burglar. We thought you might like to look into it. it looks it's like something big, possibly quite dangerous. Oh gosh, is, he, is it a big spider? Because I can't. What is it? Trolls. No, no, no. Why would you bring the soup? Oh, 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 okay. Oh, not the ponies. Mountain trolls are slow and stupid, and you're so Me, small no. they'll never see no, you. No. Are you sure this is a good idea? Mutton yesterday. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no. Uh, disgusting. Stop! 
I'm so disgusted right now. You like what I'll give ya. Ah, Carly's the cook. I smart chicken. Except the chicken. They're blind. Flesh. I need flesh. It's got arms and legs and everything. What are you then? Uh, pop it. Can we cook him? No, he's uncookable. Do the owl hoot hoot. I don't know what owl. Gotcha. Make him squeal. This is just practice for the orcs and the dragon. What? Lay down your arms. Let's just sit on him. Oh my gosh! How are they gonna get out of this? Wait! You are making a terrible mistake. Uh, the, the secret to cooking dwarf is um to skin them first. What a load of rubbish! Nothing wrong with a bit of raw dwarf. <laughs> Ew! Not that one. He, he's infected. Yeah, he's got worms. In, in fact, they all have. You think I don't know what you are up to? The dawn will take you all. Yes, Gandalf. They turn to stone. At night, they rise again. I'm just assuming. Nasty business. Still, they're all in one piece. No thanks to your burglar. He had the nerve to play for time. Since when do mountain trolls venture this far south? Not since a darker power ruled these lands. There must be a cave nearby. That doesn't sound like it smells very good. Seems a shame just to leave it lying around. Get a shovel! These swords are not made by any troll. You could not wish for a finer blade. Come on, let's go. How does one poil? Yeah. Dope weapon. I can't take this. I have never used a sword in my life. Well, you're about to, son. True courage is about knowing not when to take a life. When to spare it? But when to spare one. Always spare one. Always try to spare it. Always show mercy. Everything in life is all about everybody trying their best to live their own lives. And that's my philosophy is Everybody's trying their best to survive. Um, maybe I'm just too nice, but... What on earth are you doing here? Something's terribly wrong. The air is foul with decay, but worse are the webs they came from Dol Guldur. I was hoping they were ants. The old fortress is abandoned. It is not. A dark power dwells in there. It is the shadow of an ancient horror. Get out of there, please. One that can summon the spirits. Yeah, not a fan at all. Oh, no. I saw him, Kanda. Oh, he's scary. He's so scary. Is he giving him weed? Here, have some weed. Get high with me. Now we know how Gandalf is always so calm. He's just constantly high. That is not from the world of the living. Was that a wolf? No, that is not a wolf. Who did you tell about your quest? No one. What in Dorne's name is going on? You are being hunted. We have to get out of here. We have no ponies. I'll draw them all. They will outrun you. I'd like to see them try. I dig the confidence. Come on. Oh, no. they are getting so close. I hope they don't get the bunny rabbits. Oh, yeah. Tokyo drifting. Let's go. Come on, come on. Quick. Where are you leading us? This thing is nose blind. Okay, there's no spiders here, so I can put my feet on the ground. Fly, you fools! That is beautiful! I want to see Elrond. Oh, 
I really do. Who's that? Are those humans? I can't tell if those are humans or elves. They almost look elvish. Elves. I cannot see where the pathway leads. Love elves. Where are we? It feels like, well, like magic. A very powerful magic. <gasps> All right, drink up, boys. Most water you're getting this whole trip. Tell me, we're still gonna see Elrond. The Valley of Imladris. Rivendell, this was your plan all along, to seek refuge with our enemy. Not enemy, they literally should help no you. enemies here. If we are to be successful, this will need to be handled with tact and respect. Which is why you will leave the talking to me. Something that Gandalf possesses very well. Ah, Lindy. He's beautiful. I must speak with Lord Elrond. They're just coming home. Chill out. Gandalf. Lord Elrond. Elrond. Strange for orcs to come so close to our border. Someone has drawn them near. Ah, that may have been us. Welcome, Thorin, son of Thrain. I do not believe we have met. You have your grandfather's bearing. Narthuinoer, Tolthuiviru. What is he saying? He's offering you food. Oh, settle down, settle down. Yeah, we'll take that. Sounds good. The mouthful. That looks that delicious. Like I'm a big veggie person! If I could live anywhere, I'd be here with them. Give me all that food. Oh, that looks delicious. I can't say I fancy elf maze myself. Too thin. That's not an elf maid. <laughs> this is Orchrist, the goblin cleaver, forged by the high elves of the West. His swords were made from goblin walls. I wouldn't bother that, eh? What are you saying, my sword has the same battle? I'm not actually sure it is a sword. More of a letter opener, really. We found them in a troll horde on the Great East Road. And what were you doing on the Great East Road? Excuse me. I have to go to the bathroom. Change the tune, why don't you? All right, lads, there's only one thing for it. Hidden, there's an hidden, there's a merry old man. Ah. Well, it's an old grey hill. The page of five street fill. He squeaked at his sword and he quickened the tooth and the landlord shook the man in the moon. You can definitely see the difference between the dwarves and the elves. They're complete opposites. But the dwarves know how to have fun. So I'll give them that. I would want to I would want to join. It's mine to protect. You stand here in the presence of one of the few in Middle Earth who can read that map. Show it to Lord Erron. Erebor, what is your interest in this map? It's mainly academic. As you know, this sort of artifact sometimes contains hidden text. He's just lying to him. He doesn't want to tell him the truth because they want the treasure? I don't understand. Moon runes can only be read by the light of a moon of the same shape and season. Fate is with you, Thorin Oakenshield. Same moon shines upon us tonight. Stand by the grey stone when the thrush knocks, and the setting sun with the last light of Durin's day shine upon the keyhole. Summer is passing. Dorian's day will soon be upon us. There are some who would not deem it wise. Like him. I love you, Elrond. Oh, are we gonna see the giant spiders? Oh my god, they're so gross. Orcs are so nasty. Please don't show me the giant spiders. I'm, ta I'm taking my feet off the ground. I don't trust like that. Did he grow another arm? Oh, no, never. No, he didn't. He has he has a fork there instead. So we can eat. You could have used him in your army! You didn't have to kill him. Useless. Your action. Sword. So this is after the ring. It is. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just fact-checking my mind right now. Not with your companions. The truth is that most of them don't think I should be on this journey. I've also heard they're fond of the comforts of home. Need a change. It's unwise to seek the Council of Elves. <laughs> you are very welcome to stay here. 
Ooh, that looks gr that, uh, gross. That looks delicious. Is that a big leaves? Big leaves. Lettuce is the word I was looking for. If the dwarves take back the mountain, our defenses in the east will be strengthened. A strain of madness runs deep in our family. Can you swear Thorin Oaken Shield will not also fall? With or without our help, these dwarves will march on the mountain. I do not believe Thorin Oaken Shield feels that he's answerable to anyone. Nor for that matter am I. It is not me you must answer to. <gasps> She's breathtaking. When we need no doing. She's beautiful. Really has it. Galadriel no looks idea. Lord the Elrond same. Had sent for you. He didn't. Oh my gosh, another surprise guest! <gasps> oh my goodness. The dragon has long been on your mind. A dragon could be used to terrible effect. Does it not worry you? Saruman, please. Both rings should simply vanish. Without the ruling ring of power, the seven are of no value to the enemy. For 400 years we have lived in peace. Are we? Are we at peace? Orcs have attacked us on the run. Looking for trouble where none exists. Gandalf does look like a little bit of a shit starter right now. They speak of a necromancer, a sorcerer who summoned the dead. No such power exists in this world. You carry something. Yes. Show me. Saruman. Shh. What is that? A Morgul blade. Made for the Witch King of Angmar and buried with him. So that's, that's who he fought. What proof do we have this weapon came from Angmar's grave? I have none. Because there is none. Saruman, oh my god, what a hater. The question of this dwarvish company troubles me deeply. They are leaving. Yes. My lord Elrond, the dwarves, they've gone. Gandalf, you sneak, you. Master Baggins, I suggest you keep up. I really like this movie so far. I'm glad I... I'm glad I'm watching the extended version because of the, I'm sure it's because of the visuals. So worth it. Saruman believes that it is only a great power that can hold evil in check. I found it as everyday deeds of ordinary folk. Why, Bilbo Baggins? Perhaps it is because I'm afraid that it gives me courage. That was beautiful. That like honestly brings like makes my eyes water. That was beautiful. <laughs> What? This is no thunderstorm. It's a thunder battle. The legends are true. Door giants. Are they trying to attack them? Oh, oh, they're attacking each other. Okay. They're part of. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh, that's not. That's bad. That's real. Oh, that's not good. They just wake up to fight. That's it. Where's Bilbo? Looks safe enough. Right then, let's get the fire let's started. No, no fires, not in this place. We start at first light. We were too late in the mountains until Gandalf joined us. Plans change. The plans turned alive, so. Where do you think you're going? Back to Rivendell. You're part of the company. Never run out my door. You're homesick. I understand. You're used to, to, to this life, to living on the road, never settling in one place, not belonging anywhere. Oh, no. Yeah, you should go now. No, you're right. We don't belong anywhere. I wish you all the luck in the world. What's that? Uh oh, orcs. Ouch, oh my god, he landed on everyone. <laughs> the 
this one has hair. He did. Just kidding, there's two more movies. Who would be so bold as to come armed into my kingdom? Bolts, your malevolence. Well, well, well. Look who it is, Thorin, son of Thrain, son of Thor. I know someone who would pay a pretty price for your head. An old enemy of yours. Azark the Defiler was destroyed. Send word to the Pale Orc. Oh, that's coming from the... Oh, oh, from the movie. I thought I heard hissing, like, in my house. I need to make sure I don't have a zombie in here. Whoa! 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 It's Schmeagol! It's Gollum! Well, <laughs> The ring! Get the ring, get the ring. Hey, fell on mushrooms. Get the ring. Is this how? Blesses and Back. Stay back. They did not see the sword in his hand. My name is Bilbo Baggins. I'm a hobbit from the Shire. Just show me the way to get out of here, and I'll be on my way. Safe path in the dark. Shut up! I didn't say anything. He wasn't talking to you. He's still fighting himself. Your game is... We love games. What? Has roots as nobody sees. Is taller than trees. Mountains. And up it goes, and yet never grows. He's like half innocent, half evil. I'm so sad. And, and, and if I win, you show me. Yes. And if you win, he, he kills you. If Baggins loses, we eat it whole. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, Thirty white horses on a red hill. First they champ, then they stamp, then they stand still. Bargain, wingless, flatters, toothless, bites. It's wind. Oh, he's angry. A, a box without hinges, key. Or, or lid, yet golden treasure inside is hid. Axels! Axels! <laughs> oh my god, I don't like that this is cutting it close. I know that Bilbo's gonna get out, but it's still tense. All things it devours. Birds, beasts, trees, flowers. Lord's iron, bites, steel. Ryan's hard stones to me. The answer is time. Last question. Oh my gosh. He just has a rock he's gonna throw at you. That's like his weapon of choice. What have I got in my pocket? Who's it going to work? Must give us three. Three guesses. Very well. Guess away. Houses. Wrong. Guess again. Knife! Wrong again. String! Wrong both times. I won the game. You promised to show me the way out. Did we say so, precious? You, you sure did. You sure did. Oh, where is it? No! What have you lost? Mustn't ask us! Not as business! What? Has Oh no. It's nasty. Stole it. Bilbo just thinks it's like a gold ring and he this guy's going crazy over it. I'm surprised he didn't just offer it back to him. I would have been dumb enough to do that. It is the goblin cleaver! Cut off his head! Gandalf always here to save the day. How does he always know? Hey! He wields the foe hammer! Follow me! It's ours! What a lucky shot. Oh! 
Those are options. That'll do it. There's no way they would have survived that. I don't care how sturdy dwarves are. They they would have all died from that. Well, that could have been worse. Oh my. There's too many. We can't fight them. Come on. You keep the ring on the worst. No, it, you need to spare your life. That's what real courage is, knowing when to spare life. And Papa, that makes 13. Where's Bilbo? Tell me! I'll tell you what happened. Master Baggins saw his chance and he took it. We will not be seeing our hobbit again. Really? Surprise! Take off the ring. Reveal yourself, Bilbo. No, he isn't. <laughs> Beckett, I've never been so glad to see anyone in my life. How on earth did you get past the goblins? Oh, what does it matter? He's back. Smooth. Sly. Why did you come back? Look, I know you doubt me. I, I, know, I know you always have. And you're right, I often think of Bag End. See, that's where I belong. That's home. And that's why I came back. It's, it was taken from you. But I will help you take it back if I can. He's so sweet. They literally can't catch a break. Run. Back into the trees. All of you. He's not gonna... Oh my gosh. Oh no. Are they just running off the mountain right now? Is that really what they're doing? Let your anger get the best of you. Don't do it. Oh yes, create a forest fire. That'll distract them. Oh, please don't cheer just yet. You're on a tree on the side of a cliff. Oh, there we go. No way is he doing this right now. That's not, that's not fair. He has a, he's using a handicap. Didn't you want to kill him? He's definitely not dead. There's no way. Literally how? I just feel like the f pure size difference and strength difference. I don't know how Bilbo would be able to do get away with any of this. Much too like strong. They're much too strong. And that's what I figured. Like flying things would come and rescue them with a butterfly. I'm just now realizing. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> I'm just now realizing that this is the same thing that was happening in the first Lord of the Rings. I thought that this movie was going to be like the adventure one and done. It's a three parter for this adventure. I didn't realize that. I don't know why I always think that. I should have known. I truly thought that. Oh my gosh. I feel so dumb. Be 
your birds here. You, what were you doing? You would not survive in the wild. Well, I was wrong. I have never been so wrong. But I'm sorry I doubted you. No, I, I would have doubted me too. He finally finds his place amongst them. Thank you, big fat birds. I hope you have a great meal later. You deserve it. Oh, they're eagles. Oh, they're still birds. You big old chickens. Is that what I think it is? Erebor, the lonely mountain. Oh, home. Or even the birds are returning to the mountain. Or we'll take it as a sign, a good omen. You're right. I do believe the worst is behind us. It is definitely not behind you. De definitely not. There were giant spiders. We saw giant spiders. There's a, a fire dragon. The worst is not behind you, sir. Do you not remember what your quest is? That's that stupid ass bird is gonna wake up the dragon. 100% gonna wake up the dragon. And the dragon's gonna be like, hmm? Why do dragons like gold? They can't purchase things. I think we're gonna wake up. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that stupid bird really just woke up that dragon so thunderstorms don't wake it up, but stupid tapping a bird doing that will. It has awakened. That was... it felt like Middle Earth. It really did. So I just finished watching The Hobbit, the first Hobbit film, An Unexpected Journey. And... I got some thoughts for you guys. So, if you go in watching this film thinking that it's in comparison to the Lord of the Rings film, you're not gonna like the film. I could not get as immersed into uh, The Hobbit as I did with Lord of the Rings. I mean, to be honest with you, when I first did Lord of the Rings, I really wanted to immerse myself. Therefore, I did it in two parts and maybe because I went through it all in one, one run, I couldn't get as immersed. I do like the dwarves, but I didn't get much of an individuality with the dwarves because I'm a big character person. That really does matter to me. You know, it feels like a big conglomerate. It feels like a group of people that um, Bilbo is trying to get along, not get along with, but see if he can fit in with. I'm aware the concept with The Hobbit is not to get all these races together. It's really for Bilbo to kind of spread his wings and embrace the change, embrace journey. So I am aware that that's not really what the purpose was for The Hobbit. But I do notice that I think that might be a reason why I personally could not get as immersed as I did with Lord of the Rings. So that's just like what I'm thinking. I do like that I think that we get to see Bilbo's character change. He went to this fearful, home-loving hobbit who really didn't want to seek out adventure. He was completely happy at home. He started embracing his bravery and his his loyalty to the dwarves and really sympathizing with them. There were plenty of times where he could have just turned around and went home, but he chose not to. So I really like that his arc has changed. I like that you see his character progression and you see him kind of coming out of his comfort zone. The visuals are stunning. I love the visuals. Galadriel, Elrond, I loved, loved, loved seeing the elves. I really do like the writing. I like the dialogues. Uh, I like the acting. I think it's really good. The fighting sequences, fire. I think it's all great. My only thing was that I could not get as immersed. I And I do think it's due to the characters. But other than that, I did enjoy the movie. It feels like Middle Earth prior to Lord of the Rings really occurring. And I like that they slowly integrated, you know, the ring and the, the story with Mordor and everything. Overall, I think it's a great movie. I do like it and I can't wait to see the next part. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys will stay and watch the Hobbit trilogy with me. So I'll see you guys around. Thank you again. Bye bye. Aww.